Okay, very quickly we're going to take a look at a couple of Greek words that are associated with the modern English words pharmacy, pharmacist, and pharmacologist. All right, here's the Greek word pharmacus. It's 5333 in the Greek Strong's Concordance, and it means a poisoner, a sorcerer, or a magician. This word appears three times in the New Testament, in Revelation 9.21, Revelation 21.8, and Revelation 22.15. And every time you see this word in the New Testament, it is not associated with anything good, so... Okay, let's see here. What else do we got as it pertains to this word? Pharmacus, it means properly a sorcerer, used to people using drugs and religious incantations to drug people into living by their illusions. NAS exhaustive concordance, pharmacon, a poisoner, sorcerer, magician. Okay, we just read that. Okay, Thyre Greek lexicon, it says that this word is associated to someone practicing magical arts. Hmm. Here's the Greek strong concordance, and it says that this word means. Somebody that's a sorcerer. Wow. All right, let's take a look at the next word. It is a Greek word, pharmacus, 5332 in the Greek Strong's Concordance. Again, this means somebody that it is a, a practitioner of sorcery, a sorcerer. As you see here. Zoom in. Let's see what other information we got here. All right. Let's see. Strong's Exhaustive Concordance says that this word, pharmacon, means a sorcerer, a drug, meaning a spell giving potion, a druggist, there it is, pharmacist, or poisoner. By extension, a magician or sorcerer. So, this basically can mean a pharmacist, your local pharmacist, your druggist. I don't think they know what they're doing over there with the local pharmacy. You know, a lot of the stuff they're giving over the counter is not meant to help you, but they don't know any better. So, all right, let's take a look at this last word here. 5331 in the Greek Strong's Pharmakia. And this means the use of medicine, drugs, or spells. This word appears two times in the New Testament. Galatians 5.20 and Revelation 18.23. Okay, administer of drugs, drug-related sorcery. Okay, like the practice of magical arts. See that here? Alright, again, this word means sorcery, sorcery. Dyer's Greek lexicon says that this word is associated with somebody that administers drugs. Or it's poisoning people. Wow. Sorcery or magical arts as well. Okay. See that? Come on, damn it. Okay, there it is. Poisoning. Most people have no idea what they're getting over the counter when they go get their prescription drugs from their local pharmacy and pharmacist. That is poisoning. 
So all you people that are working in the medical field, you're poisoning the people. I guarantee you, a lot of the stuff being given over the counter and behind the counter is not meant to help you feel better. Okay? All right, so let's see here. Strong's Exhaustive Concordance, Pharmacias means sorcery or witchcraft. Pharmacy, by extension, magic, literally or figuratively, sorcery, witchcraft. So there it is. Basically, what your pharmacist, your pharmacy and pharmacologist, all those practicing pharmacopoeia, a lot of them are into sorcery and witchcraft. It says in the book of Revelations that Babylon is brought down because of her sorcery. And nowadays, if you look around, you have, you have just about in every corner or in every little town a pharmacy selling what? Prescription drugs. You know, it doesn't have to be like your typical marijuana, coke, and what else, heroin, and all these other drugs, alcohol, that, you know, the system likes to label as, oh, above bad, you know, it's like horrible, in the meantime, they're over here pushing these other drugs that they label as good, you know, they're saying that they're good for you, they're not, now don't get me wrong, there is some stuff that is meant to help you, but like I said, in the times we're living in now, most of the crap you're getting over the counter is not meant to help you. So yeah, all this crap you see, all these pills, capsules, tablets, liquid medicine, it's nothing more than a way for them to make money while they're putting all kinds of witchcraft on you all kinds of spells that's why you see people walking around all stupefied beyond recognition it's because they don't know no damn better so yeah all that stuff that you see here in the daughter of Babylon is nothing more than Witchcraft. Sorcery. And I wonder if the doctors, those that are really up there that study this type of junk, if they would be honest with their patients, how many of them would tell them the truth that not everything they prescribe and recommend is meant to help them? But because it's a business, they're in it for the money, then I gotta tell you. So you need to get informed. Start looking for the answers yourself so that you aren't deceived. So they're drugging people. That's what they're doing. Putting them under some kind of trance. All right, so I just thought I would share that really quick. Because there are some people out there that don't know that what they're doing is drugging the population. So if you if you're one of those that is working in the medical field as a pharmacist, you're in a pharmacy practicing pharmacology, then you better find a new job. You better think of getting a new career. Find a new gig. Because what you're doing is wrong, whether you know it or not. And I know some of us know somebody out there that works in a pharmacy. Dealing with prescription drugs and whatnot. So, yeah. This is not good. Okay? So, that's all I have for this video. And I hope it was informative. Till next time, take care. Shalom.